Hello and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide and my first ever visit to Samwell Valley Country Park. It's just on the outskirts of Birmingham. Now let me give you a bit of a backstory as to how I've actually ended up here today uh, because tonight I'm going to be visiting Warwick Castle to go and see Dragon Slayer uh, which is a show that launched last year just for the summer. I didn't get a chance to go and see it um, so yeah I thought I'd got to go there this year. I've booked my ticket but it doesn't start until seven o'clock tonight. So I thought what can I do around the area and then I realized there's actually a few different junior coasters a few different country parks uh, that have all opened over the past few years so I thought right it's a perfect opportunity uh, to come here early afternoon uh, start here at Samwell Valley and then make my way to a couple of other locations uh, similar to this and then go to Warwick Castle this evening so the plan is today I'm gonna be filming four different videos from the channel and um, yeah they are gonna be a little bit shorter uh, than what you normally expect from me you know me sometimes I'll do videos that are like 90 minutes uh, these are gonna be some shorter vlogs but just giving you a bit of an idea on what there is at these different places to offer so um yeah expect those coming up over the next few days on the channel but yes welcome to samuel valley country park uh the sun is shining and look at this the car park is pretty busy this is actually the overflow it's all down there as well uh really cheap for parking two pound all day uh, i've paid 80p for a couple of hours because i don't see myself being here that long uh, it's mainly i've come to ride a caterpillar coaster at sandwell valley amusements uh, which is the little uh, family amusement area they've got uh, but looking down here you've got loads of different play equipment there's a farm as well uh, with all different animals and uh, yeah for all the different things you want to see you just pay extra for there's a land train i've just seen down there actually as well so um yeah it's somewhere that you pay to park nice and cheap you don't have to pay to go in and um, you just pay for the different attractions and stuff that you want to see so with me i'm just gonna have a little walk around um go and do the roller coaster see what other rides they've got uh, just get a bit of footage for you guys and uh, yeah just so you can see what it's like so yes join me here at samuel valley country park on my little cred run day really uh, going doing these coasters but also uh, having a little look around as well and seeing what there is and sharing it with you guys so I've just walked down from the car park and as you can see you've got a little stall over there selling all your standard chips hot dogs slushies all that sort of stuff loads of play equipment down here as well like loads of climbing frames and everything and uh, yeah all free to go on like I say you don't have to pay to enter the site uh, just for parking that looks quite fun didn't it they're all just swaying back and forwards and uh, I went and looked on the website I did wonder why I did list the high ropes course and was a bit surprised uh, when I rocked up and saw it I think this is why um, yeah this isn't in action by the looks of it I don't think it's been in action for quite a while uh, yeah they put all this big fence up around it and anti-climb paint on there so yeah this looks like it shut down maybe I don't know last summer possibly I'm um, looking at it, it's really uh, overgrown uh, all around here but other than that it seems like a really nice place actually yeah, it's a shame that that's not in action. Probably wouldn't have had to go today because, like I say, I've only sort of put in time for a few hours to go to these places and have a little look around. Um, but yeah, it's quite nice around here, other than that all being closed up. Uh, it looks like there's a big open grass area. And from looking on Google Maps, got to love a bit of Google Maps, haven't you? And um, this is where the amusements are, just around here to the left. There's a little uh, golf course that's just opened uh, down that way as well. A little uh, mini golf or pitch and putt, I think it is actually. Yeah, it's just nice to have a walk around, isn't it, in the sunshine? There you go, yeah, pitch and put golf course down that way. And there's a little land train. Yeah, massive open area. Ah, so here we go, yeah, I recognise this from Google Maps now. So we've got Samwell Valley Amusements just here, and the little coaster should be down here. And that's all the farm park over there as well. So, yeah, it seems like there's more parking over there to the right. Um, that's all the farm park over there in the distance. And you pay, like, I think it's like £3.50 or something when I looked online. And you can go and walk around there. But here we go. This is what we've come to see. Samuel Valley Amusements. There you go. Open at 12 noon daily. Every weekend and every day during the school holidays. There you go. Weather permitting. So if it's chucking it down, probably won't be open. But here we go. I can see the caterpillar actually. It's down the bottom. And it's in action. Here we go, let's have a little look round and have a ride. Get, should be getting a little coaster credit here, that's the plan. So there's actually a few more rides here than what I was expecting. Uh, you've got the Caterpillar coaster down there at the back. Then you've got a few other little rides for the kids as well. A little spinning ride here, a uh, little chair swings over there, little rockets to the side. And here we go, here's the price list. Space shuttle, there we are, I love something like that when I was a kid. It's like bouncing here at Thorpe Park. 
yeah, we've got the roller coaster, which is two tokens. One token's 80p. So yeah, that's £1.60. There you go, you've got bundles on your tokens as well. Seven for a fiver, 15 for £10. And yeah, things are reasonably priced, aren't they there, really? Most expensive thing is the bungee trampolines at four tokens. But yeah, like I say, all I'm going to go on is the coaster. Uh, the rest of them are all tiny rides for the kids. But you know me on this channel, I like to show you around what there is. Some of you might live local and didn't even realise there was all this here. So yeah, there's certainly more here than what I originally thought. Uh, all the different bouncy castles and stuff. And obviously it's made better when the weather's nice, isn't it? But here we go, let's go and buy some tokens. £1.60 and go and ride that caterpillar over there. Love it, let's go. Right then, off we go on the roller coaster, as it's called. This little caterpillar. I've done many of these over the years. Let's see how this one is. How many laps we're we gonna get? Loads of space around here, though. Very nice area just to come and chill out for a few hours. If I live locally, I'd definitely come around here and just relax. Here we go. Yeah, there's quite a few people here as well. It seems quite popular. And there's the uh, trailer for it down there. Whee! That's one lap. How many are we gonna get? Three or four, place your bets now. <laughs> I just got that off-ride footage that you saw before this clip. I think it went around at least three times from what I saw. Oh, they got some little uh, bikes over there that you can hire as well. I call them like Chuckle Vision bikes. Remember what Paul and Barry Chuckle used to have and they used to go around on it. Bungee trampolines over there. Yeah, they're the most expensive, it seems. Four tokens. That's a good thing about places like this. You know, free to enter, cheap parking. Um, you know, if you can't afford to go to theme parks all the time, it's great to bring the kids here. They can have just as much fun here as they can at a big theme park. You know, with some of these little rides here, especially some of the younger ones. Oh, thrilling. Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's a plus one though. If all goes to plan, I get to all these places, it'd be three credits to add on, which isn't bad really, just for going to a few little of these country parks. I wonder if it all lights up at night. I mean, it's got all the LED lighting installed. <laughs> so I'm sure it does. We're not time it even closes. Hey. Is that it? Three laps? Oh no, it's a four lap special. Bargain for £1.60. Love it. How many laps do you want to see on a kid's coaster? There we are. <laughs> There you know me and what we say on this channel, the cred's a cred. Yeah, it certainly feels more like a, a travelling fair here, really, but it is set up like for most of the year, I believe. Um, like I say, you know, you think they may put like a permanent fence around it or something. Um, but yeah, there you go, four laps, I reckon that's all. Is that it? Four lap special, £1.60, bargain.
I don't think one pound sixty was too bad for that, to be honest. Little caterpillar coaster. And like I say, it's great for families who may not be afford to go to big theme parks all the time. They come to somewhere like this, sit down on the grass for a little bit, bring a picnic, and take the kids on a couple of rides. So it's quite a nice area, this as well. And I really like how cheap the parking is. Normally, when you go to somewhere like this, um, you know, you have to pay like four or five pounds for parking. And the thing, you know, because it's free entry, uh, they can charge a lot for parking, but it's not the case here. And I'm on a little land train now, a bit bumpy. This was a pound. And here's the bikes I was on about, look. Trickle Vision bikes. I used to love Trickle Vision when I was a kid. Um, yeah, they look good fun, don't they? If there was a few of us here, I probably would have gone on those, to be honest, for a bit of a laugh. Um, yeah, one pound to go on the land train. Uh, it picks you up just out the front of Sandwell Valley Amusements. And um, we saw a few little shots there as well of the uh, area in there. And, you know, there's a few rides for the kids. only the one ride that I've got on in there. Uh, but here we go, these are coming fast. Trying to get in the video, look. <laughs> I love it, they're off. Yeah, you can't very. I think it's really quite cheap around here. And you get to see a little bit of the farm over here as well. Like I said, I'm not going to go in it uh, because I don't really have loads of time this afternoon. I've got to drive between a few places. But there you go, they're doing a race with us on this land train. Here's a few shots. journey there around the back of the park it's only about a five minute ride this I assume we're just gonna park back up out the front but you can't moan for a pound like really good when I was a kid I would have loved this look at these racing against us <laughs> yeah and that's all the Sandwell Valley amusements just over there you know only a small little place but I thought it was literally just the caterpillar coaster and like a couple of uh, bouncy castles didn't realize there was all those different rides so you know you've got maybe what half an hour 45 minutes worth there if you've got some kids bring them along and you know you'd have a good time there Definitely. Yeah, you know what our plan is now, I'm just going to have a little walk back around this way. I think there's some sort of bowing lake up there at the top. And then, uh, yeah, we'll wrap up this little video. On to the next place. Like I say, short little videos compared to what I normally do. Uh, but I wanted to put them on as separate ones, just so uh, people, if you are coming to visit these, you can find them nice and easy. Um, and so you can have a little look at what there is to see. Yeah, that was a pound for that one. And there was one pound sixty to go on the little coaster. So not too bad. Really cheap little place to come. Land train stops here. I'll tell you what, you can't complain about that, can you? One pound for a five minute ride there on the land train, all around the grass area. Yeah, I thought it was quite nice, good value as well. That's the thing with this place, I'd say everything's reasonably priced, uh, which is good, and everything's rather quite nice, apart from this boating lake over here, come and have a look at this. I mean, you can see the swans just there behind me. And we're looking from a distance and think, oh yeah, it looks fine, it just must be closed this afternoon. Uh, but yeah, like, it's a bit grimy when you get a bit closer. Come and have a look at this. Uh, it definitely needs a bit of a clean up around this part. Um, yeah, and obviously the high ropes course, that could do with sorting out. But apart from those two things, I think it's quite a nice little area, isn't it? Quite, you know, it's chilled out. And there's a few more bits here than what I was expecting, actually. I thought it might be a matter of pulling up for 10 minutes, filming on the caterpillar coaster, and then going. But I Actually, you know, there's definitely been a, quite a bit here. I've had about 45 minutes just walking around and seeing all the bits. But yeah, let me just show you this boat and lake before I head off. Uh, yeah, and end the vlog and go to my next location. So you look at those swans over there and you think, oh, it looks quite nice, doesn't it? And I'm going to zoom out. Da -da -da -da. Yeah, look at this. It's a bit, uh, bit grimy, isn't it, this lake? 
Oh, it's a bit windy up here as well. Obviously, we're standing like raised up here compared to uh, down the bottom there. Obviously, we've shielded down there with all these trees and it's a little bit of a berm that I'm standing on. Uh, but yeah, there you go. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I think there's a reason why the swans are in action. Uh, but yeah, overall, this is like a bit of an overview. There's more green areas at the top there. And then panning round, you've got like some different courts for things as well um, that you can play on. There's like a little outdoor gym over there. I think it's just like a, some play equipment that you can uh, use for free. Uh, toilets and stuff down here. All your bike hiring, everything's in that building. Samwell Valley Amusements is over there. Farms in the back corner. And your, uh, all your play equipment's just up there. But yeah, what a nice little place it is, isn't it? Uh, but yeah, I'm just gonna head back over to the car park now, uh, get back in the car, and uh, yeah, on to the next. What a nice little place that is. I've enjoyed just having a walk around for an hour or so. Of course, getting a plus one there, going on the Caterpillar, looking at some of the other rides and activities that are available. And uh, yeah, like I say, you have got the farm uh, here as well. It's got loads of different animal experiences, uh, a couple of different walks around here. You've got the bike hire, and yeah, you can certainly make a good full afternoon out of it around here. And you know me on this channel, like I said back at the start, it's all about covering all sorts of different attractions. And uh, not always theme parks, leisure attractions in general, what we cover here on Theme Park Worldwide. And uh, yeah, I hope you've enjoyed watching this. On to my next one then now, I'm off to Cannon Hill Park to go and ride a little spinning coaster. It's a little SPF Visa, I believe. So I'm heading down there to go and give that a ride. It's about six miles away. I'm not too sure what else there is in the park, but I guess we'll find out when we get there. So join me here in the next video on Theme Park Worldwide. And uh, yeah, in terms of this area, it's good value, nicely presented. Uh, I just hope they sort out the climbing frame, uh, well, the high ropes and also uh, the lake as well. That could do with sorting. But in general, it's really nice around here. Uh, all the lawns nicely cut. And I like the fact it's cheap parking as well, which is really good. So yeah, certainly recommend it if you are within the area. Fancy popping in to get another plus one coaster. And generally just having a bit of a chill in the sunshine. Quite nice today. Uh, however, the sun does look like it might be disappearing a little bit. So we'll see what happens by the time we get down to uh, Cannon Hill Park. I'm Sean Sandbrook. Thanks for watching. That means it's time to give you those credits. See you in the next video.